Hello, today I want to show you my spline tool I made for the game. So a spline tool is something where you can define sort of a path and you can have something follow along that path. I'll first show how it looks in the editor and then we'll look some at the code, how it's implemented. So in the editor you can, uh, for example, we can go and place this uh, rocket and then we can also go and place a spline. Now, and then I can click on my spline and I can choose edit path. And now I can make points like this. So I can I can edit the, the tangent of the point and I can move them around, you know, like this. And we can go like this and like that. And let's try using this spline to animate this rocket here so it flies around. Um, and uh, on each, when you select the points here, the, the yellow ones, you also get some point specific options here. Like these are just things that I have for convenience. You can set the custom rotation and you can set the speed at which it will travel along. And I know for a fact that maybe around 10, speed 10 is quite good here. Like this. So on the rocket here, there is a landing spline. And I with that one, I pick the spline I just placed. So it's a spline here now. <coughs> and then I save and quit the editor. And then we see how the rocket follows our spline. There's also some scaling going on there that I've done in code separately. Uh, and now you see this, it, the rocket sort of followed the spline to the end and then it ended up like this. It would be cool if we, for example, set the speed, uh, no, the rotation also, so we can do that. Like maybe, maybe at this point and we set the rotation to be... We, click the custom rotation button so, so it uses zero degrees so it points upwards here instead and we do the same for these uh, put custom rotation maybe for this one we put something like you know 20 so we tilt a bit sideways then we'll have a look at that again it goes around like that and you see now it sort of turns up and it goes a bit to the side and then it landed uh, and then there's some extra code here, of course I, I put in so that it spawns the cat when it's done with the spline so there's some code in the gameplay that does that but that's sort of the the editor um, and the way the editor is implemented we can look quickly at that uh, is so the spline editor is uh, mostly a, a thing that can go between us couple of different states so it, we, it had these different named states so essentially it's like if it's in the default state and uh, and this but you press this edit path button then it jumps into the edit spline state and when it's in the edit spline state it tries to look for uh, if uh, if you have a selected point like any of these <coughs> then it will uh, draw some extra stuff in here yeah so when you click it either places a new point, which is this code, or if you click on a spline point, any of these, then it, you see it selects that one, and they, uh, that's this part. If there's a, if you click and there's a, one of these yellow points under the cursor, and then it goes into another state, which is the mouse down on spline point, and if you still have the mouse up on the same spline point, on the same point, then it goes into the edit spline state with that point selected. Uh, and if you and but if you move your mouse more than three pixels away from where you started, uh, then it goes in. Then instead of selecting it, it grows into the drag spline point state, which is this one, where it will update uh, the position of it. Now you want to draw your spline points as well, right? So, so Raylib has built-in functions for drawing cubic Bezier curves. Cubic Bezier curves have a start and an end, and then it has a control point for the start and one control point for the end, which essentially means for this section here, it goes between this point and this point, and then it has this thing here and this thing here that controls the tangent uh, of how it comes out of this thing. Uh, but then this sort of draws the stuff in between there. We will look at the gameplay code at the end where I actually evaluate, you know, manually for using math, um, the Bezier curve. And you could use that code to draw it instead if you don't have these Raylib functions. But since I have them, I use them. One thing to notice here is that when I, when I change uh, this tangent here, it also changes on the other side. That's not 
something sort of built in. That's something I've done so that the tangent through the point uh, is quite reasonable. Otherwise, if you don't make sure that these two are on a line all the time, then you will end up uh, with a broken uh, tangent through this point. It's just this, like if I am dragging the, contr the, the outgoing control point, which is this one, then it will move that control point to a new position. The control point that comes in to it, this one, it will set to a point that is projected using a linear algebra, uh, linear algebra projection function on the same line. So it calculates the line between this, it calculates the line between the yellow point and the red point here, so it gets a line, and then it will make sure to just project wherever this one was before, it will project it back down to that line. So then they stay like this. Uh, as for the gameplay code, it's, uh, I can go back to my game file here. So this gameplay code, it does lots of different things. For example, I set the scale manually, as you see when it lands and stuff. But the important part of it is this function here, which I call Bezier point, which takes a start and a start control and an end and an end control. Uh, and then it takes a t, which is, uh, this t is uh, between, uh, the value between 1 and 0 and 1 of where are you on the spline. Your whole spline is essentially, you know, built up into these seg segments of Bezier curves. So this function, Bezier point, only works for each segment. So I can, I, I, I essentially give it, okay, this point, this is the start plus this control, and this is the end plus this control. And then the t value is from zero to one, how far along this thing I am. And this is the maths that does it. This is some um, cubic uh, Bezier curve math. Uh, and there's lots of people deriving how it works, but this is essentially the thing you need to calculate a 2D position along this line, given a, a number between zero and one, where that number tells you where you are on it. And when you have that, you can, you know, do all kinds of things. Like, for example, I, I calculate the total length of the whole spline with all the segments by first I go over all the points, and I and I uh, I sample the whole, all the curves along it by running the Bezier uh, point uh, function many times. I do it in a for in a in a in a for loop here. I just go from zero to one on on this t parameter here. And then I do the actual movement of the spaceship, which is this stuff. And this uh, this is depends on your gameplay needs, sort of exactly what you do here. But it's essentially about updating the position of an entity using the Bezier point function. Uh, and 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 you, uh, what I do here is I, I um, calculate since I calculate the whole length of it, then I can just have a number that is counting up of how far along the thing have I traveled so far. Then I can know which of the segments I'm actually inside by checking, oh, am I, am I, am I past this, the, the end point? Okay, then I will be in the next segment or I'm in this segment, you know, I can, I can calculate which segment I'm in and when I know which segment I'm in, I can uh, calculate where on that segment am I, and then I just set the player position, or well, the rocket position in this case, to that. And then I also do these other things like, you know, the I had a custom rotation, so if that's checked, if the custom rotation is checked on a point, then it will use that. You can implement it a bit however you want, depending on your gameplay needs, uh, but the important part is that you you just use a function like this to calculate a 2D point of where uh, where on the spline you are. And like I said before, I used, in the editor, I used the Raylib cubic Bessier functions to draw it. If you don't have that, you could essentially have some code that loops over the whole spline and then runs this Bessier point function and draws in the dots. 